morning everybody. It's fantastic to be with you again today. Let's get started with our school prayer. Today is a new day. I am in your hands, Lord. Be with me in all I do, in all I think and in all I say. I ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Has anyone spotted what I've got with me today? I've got our candle. <laughs> Let's get it lit. We light this candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as we gather here to worship him. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that song at the start of worship today. It is a song that I've come to really love. And one of the things that I love about it is that there is lots of different versions because people in churches across the United Kingdom came together to sing this and people from different countries came together to sing this for our whole world and those children in that video what they're doing is they're uniting together and they're saying god we know you're good will you hear our prayer will you show up in our difficult situation at the minute and will you bless us because they know that god loves to give good gifts and he loves it when people come together to ask him for things one of the things that the children were asking God for was his peace. I wonder what comes to mind when I say the word peace. It's quite a hard thing to think about. What comes into your mind? Maybe you picture a white dove. That's an image that's used in churches a lot. Maybe you picture a beautiful, quiet place where you could be still. When we're thinking about a concept, we need to think about what God has to say about it. And a good place to start is with the Bible. That's what we're going to do now. In the Bible, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. I'm going to read that again. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Now the start of that verse is saying, do not fret or worry. I don't know about you, but I find that one hard to do. My mind can be full of different things to worry about. Have a think, is there something you've been feeling worried about recently? Let's have a think together. Maybe something that you've been worried about is your friends. We can't see them at the minute and that's really hard and maybe you're worried about how they are. So I'm just gonna hold on to that worry here. I've got another one. Oh, this one's heavy. Maybe you've been worried about your family Again, you can't see everybody like you would normally, or maybe things have been more difficult than usual. Maybe you're worried about your family. Gosh, they're heavy on that arm. Let's see what's on this arm. Maybe our year sixes have been feeling worried about high school. They haven't been able to prepare in the way that they'd hoped or finish primary school how they wanted. Maybe that's become a worry. Now, my arms are full of these really heavy worries. And what happens is that these worries can really weigh us down. They can even stop us from having joy and peace and from doing things that we want to. And what God invites us to do is to let go of these worries. It says in the Bible, Cast your anxiety on him because he cares for you. That means give these worries over to Jesus. We were never meant to carry them. They're too heavy for us, but they're not too heavy for God. Jesus stands with open arms and he says, hand them over to me. Be free of them. Hand them over to me. He says, be still and know that I am God. I am in control. I see you. I see what you're worried about. And I am in control. Be still and know that I am God. 
So I'm gonna put these worries down now because already they're making my arms really ache. And what happens is that when we say that prayer, when we give those worries over to God, he gives us a calm. It starts to settle down over us. Now, God doesn't like to leave us empty handed. He is a good God and what he does is, once we give those things over to him, he gives us something back. He gives us a special gift and that gift is his peace. Now that peace isn't just a nice feeling, it is in fact the person of Jesus. Jesus who can be our friend, Jesus who we can give those heavy bags to and he'll carry them for us. God gives us Jesus, that very special gift. So peace is a gift, that's what the Bible says. So we're going to do a bit of praying now together and if you want to make it your prayer, you can say amen at the end. So we're gonna start with our hands clenched and I want you to think of your worries. Father God, we know that we hold on to lots of things lots of worries. Help us to bring those to mind now, help us to think about them. And now God, we know we can't carry those worries. We know that they're not ours to carry and we want to give them to you. We want to listen to what you say, to not be anxious, to not be worried. So now God, we're going to give them to you. And as you do that children, just let your hands drop. Now we're going to open our hands and we're going to say, God, please, will you now give me the gift of your peace? Thank you that you are a good father that loves to give us gifts. Please, can I know that peace now? Please, can I meet with Jesus now? Thank you, God, that you're a God who's big enough to hold the world, but small enough to care about every detail of my life. Amen. Amen. So we're coming to the end of today's worship. I hope that it has been really helpful for you. There is a song that you can go and listen to underneath today's video, and it's a nice song to be able to reflect to, to have some space. And maybe in the week, if those worries start to crop up, we can be tempted to pick those worries back up. You can say that prayer again about new worries, or you can remind yourself that those things are now in God's hands. You've already given those bags over to God. Don't go picking them back up again. So maybe take some time in the week to listen to that song and to say those prayers again, maybe for yourself. There's also lots of things you can check out on the Padlet. There is a song to sing, there's a memory verse you could learn and we would love, Mr Wallace and I would love to see um, your comments and how you're finding these sessions. Let us know. We love hearing from you. Okay, that's everything for today. I look forward to being again with you soon and now I'm going to blow out the candle. Thanks for joining today and bye for now.